Hi, I'm Steve with Locking Security Mailbox, and today we're going to talk about our vertical through the wall mail drop slot item CBD VTW. Uh, so obviously this is vertical here, not horizontal. So the horizontal mail drop slot is what you would traditionally see for a through the wall mail drop slot. So you can see that angles down, it installs uh, horizontal and not vertically. So the vertical through the wall mail drop slot is typically necessary when you don't have a lot of space in your wall. Uh, so this one is going to need, you know, a good 14, 16 inches, depending on how your, your stud layout is and how much space you, you've got there. Whereas a vertical one uh, can go into an area where, if, let's say you've got a window and a door and there's only 10 inches between the window and the door and you've got just very little space, our horizontal wouldn't fit there. And so that's where the vertical one comes into play. Uh, we've developed this, we've been making them custom for customers for a number of years and we wanted to go ahead and standardize it, uh, make sure that it may, met the requirements of the US Postal Service and work for people's needs. Uh, so the vertical one, as you can see, it's got a uh, spring hinge there that allows the postal carrier to push the mail in. It's going to drop down the angled chute and land there on the ground or if you have a table or a basket. Um, and then that door there, you can see it, it's spring loaded hinge, it lands there on the ground. The face plate of this, so this is the portion here, the face plate is six inches wide, 14 inches high, and the chute, with the mail drops through, that chute is a little bit narrower there, so you can see it's four inches by 11 inches. Uh, so what that allows for is you can cut a hole in your wall approximately four and a half by 11 and a half, and this face plate is going to hide those cut marks. So you just put a bead of caulk there, you would slide that into your hole, and then there's pre-drilled holes on both sides that you would secure to a stud or your interior framing. Uh, so again, the face plate, the opening there is two and, a, two and five eighths wide and 10 and five eighths high. Uh, so that's gonna easily allow for bubble envelopes, uh, small packages, magazines, uh, envelopes, all to drop through that slot and drop down onto the ground. This is gonna work on walls up to uh, five and three quarters inches deep. So this depth of this chute is just a little over six inches. Uh, it's about roughly six and an eighth, I believe. Uh, so as, if your wall is uh, five and three quarters, then this part is gonna stick out just a little bit. You can see there's some anti-fishing teeth there. You want those to stick out just a little bit. If your wall is thicker than let's say uh, five and three quarters, let's say you have a seven or an eight inch thick wall, all the way up to approximately a 12 inch wall, we have a chute extension and you'll see that there in the options. So you're gonna have a color option. Um, you're going to have a, a chute option, whether you just need the standard chute or a chute extension and that chute extension will slide onto there and allow for a wall up to 12 inches thick. And then the third option is going to be a rain guard. So what is a rain guard? A rain guard is a piece of steel that we're gonna weld over the top here that protrudes out. And if you have water falling down, it's gonna keep it from running down the face here. So when is that necessary? That's typically necessary if you're installing this on a porch or a wall that doesn't have an overhang to keep wa water from running down the face of your wall. So let's say you notice when it rains that water hits about the same spot of where you're going to install this, then we would recommend you add the rain, gate, uh, rain guard onto there and that's gonna help deflect some of that water. If your porch overhang protrudes out, let's say three, four, five feet or greater, then obviously that rain guard's not necessary. Uh, again, it does include the anti-fishing teeth. You can see there, it has a spring-loaded hinge, 12-gauge face, 18-gauge uh, chute. Um, it does come in a powder-coated finish. Uh, so the powder-coated finish, as you can see there, uh, this is the bronze color. 
Right next to us here, we've got the black. So you can see those sitting next to each other, the bronze and the black. It also comes in white, gray, almond, or red. So you do have six color choices there. If you just really can't stand any of those six color choices, contact us. It's kind of expensive because we have to order the powder coat in a large volume, but we can see about um, ordering a special color at an additional cost so that you can get it the color you want. Or there's always the option that you can just pick one of the colors we have and then you can go to the hardware store and buy a, um, a paint that is suitable, a spray paint that is suitable for uh, metal and just paint it whichever color you want. Uh, these are made in the USA. Right now we're trying to build up inventory at the time of this filming. Uh, steel is a little bit of short supply, so we're, we're just a little bit backed up. Uh, but you can expect this typically to ship uh, within uh, eight to 10 business days, sometimes a little bit less if you catch us uh, right when we finished a run of these and it's in stock, we'll get it shipped out to you rather quickly and it could take a little bit over a week. It's a great item for areas, again, that you don't have a lot of space on that wall. It's a narrow area. Uh, it's made in the USA. Again, real sturdy construction. It's got that, that spring hinge. Man, it's loud. Uh, so you're going to know when the postal carrier uh, delivers that mail. Uh, comes with a couple of color options, the shoot extension. Uh, so if your wall is greater than five and three quarters, you can uh, order it with that shoot extension. And if you're looking for something different, maybe you want something uh, bigger than this, wider than this, uh, give us a call or send us an email and we're, we're happy to quote out a custom size. Or maybe you're looking for something entirely different than this, uh, something that goes out on a curb and you can't find what you're looking for. Uh, we can custom make just about any type of mailbox, uh, payment drop box to meet your need. Again, I'm Steve with Locking Security Mailbox. Uh, this is our vertical through the wall mail drop slot. And any questions, be sure to uh, give us a call or send us an email.